should fight back They don't like they that don't. Just know if you rock the boat You better have a life right BJ told me I should fight back They don't like that Just know if you rock the boat You better have a life right What up everybody in the YTBC Now before I get into the topic of this video I just want to say I know it's been a couple days since I've uploaded the reason being is that I am working on a video that is very edit heavy. That's why I haven't uploaded. I actually was just recording some more audio that I needed to make that video. And um, I do thank everybody for being patient. Uh, big shout out to Kingdom of Boxing. He asked me yesterday, you know, is there more videos coming? And I let him know, yeah, there is. Um... I just been editing one that is it, it I really didn't realize how much time it was gonna take. I thought I would have it done like in just a couple of days and I mean there's there's a lot of work going into it. So that's why I haven't been uploading the last couple of days. But I did want to address this real quick. And also that's why this video doesn't have one of my, you know, crazy intros. Um, because it's just gonna prolong me finishing that video but i did want to address oscar de la hoya's response to errol spence jr and the whole thing about you know boxers needing to have a promoter and what the promoter's um, role is in the sport of boxing and i just feel like oscar de la hoya has really lost touch with this generation I'm not saying that every boxer can make it without a promoter, but I definitely do think that a promoter is nowhere near as necessary today as it has been in past eras. It's a very different time right now. And one of the things that really, really stuck out to me about what Oscar De La Hoya said is you need a promoter to make you a pay-per-view star. And that's why I feel like Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar De La Hoya, sorry, has lost touch with this generation because I'm a firm believer that pay-per-view is done. It's on its way out. It's not going to be around much longer. I'd be surprised that if there's still pay-per-views uh, going on in the sport of boxing in the next couple, you know, after the next couple years. I truly believe that. I think really we're transitioning into this era of where boxing is going to be on social media. is going to be on apps. And it already is happening. We've seen this with Terrence Crawford versus Jeff Horn. Um, Billy Joe Saunders. Sorry, my mind went blank for a second. His fight with Mark Murray, which we all know was canceled now, you know, because he pulled out. But that fight was supposed to be on ESPN+. Plus. We have Eddie Hearn, who is working on this DAZN app. Or DAZN is working on their own app, but Eddie Hearn is going to, you know, he has a contract with them. And he's going to be having a lot of boxing going on that app, supposedly. This is really where boxing is going in fact it's kind of already there i i really can't even say it's the future of boxing it's what it is right now and i've heard a lot of people complain about you know these apps and what you have to realize is this i don't think terence crawford was done wrong by being put on espn plus i've heard that being said that you know oh they're trying to push lomachenko so hard that they're making it harder to see terence crawford and i don't think that's the case i think espn being a business that's owned by disney by the way is gonna try to make as much money as they can and this whole thing with espn plus and terence crawford being on there that was them wading in the water that was them you know taking that first those first couple of steps into the pool before they dive in it's not that they're trying to push Lomachenko over Terrence Crawford I just think they see the potential in making money off of Terrence Crawford and this is where they're starting 
you know it's just one of those things that you know we're in a transition period and i think that oscar de la hoya needs to be very careful of how he's trying to promote fighters and pushing pay-per-view because this isn't the same era as when he was a pay-per-view star it's very different there's not really any pay-per-view stars today not even canelo canelo doesn't even meet the what oscar de la hoya wants him to meet now don't get me wrong he's making a lot more pay-per-view buys than anybody else in boxing at this current time but let's be honest he's not meeting oscar's expectations as far as how many pay-per-view buys he is getting how much money he is making off of canelo alvarez so i just think that oscar de la hoya needs to reevaluate his business model because i don't think pay-per-view is going to be around much longer and big shout out to big faces worldwide i think he put it best he said a lot of people are complaining about paying five dollars a month for espn plus which is a monthly subscription that you don't get just one fight you get many fights or at least that's the idea you know espn can't help that <laughs> Billy joe saunders pulled out of his fight but that's the general idea you're not supposed to just get it wasn't supposed to be just terrence crawford this month and that's the way it's supposed to be going on but he said, you complain about the $5 a month for that, but you had no problems paying $60 to see Floyd Mayweather fight Andre Berto. Now really think about that. Is pay-per-view really the you know going to last much longer with, with those prices when you can pay $5 to $20 a month and get a shitload of boxing and it could be very good boxing i mean we really have to wait and see how it gets put into practice but for right now on paper it's sounding a lot better than 60 dollars for one fight card if we're being honest so hopefully you know i, I don't want to see oscar de la hoya and golden boy not succeed really if i'm being honest when it comes to all these promoters and what they're trying to do i really don't want to see them not succeed i want to see them succeed because then that means the sport of boxing is succeeding i just don't think that pay-per-view is the way i really think it's on its way out i don't think we've had a boxing pay-per-view all year now that i think about it I could be wrong, but I can't think of one yet. You know, now, and we're in June. So now there is one that's going to be happening in September that we know for sure. And that's Triple G versus Canelo Alvarez. And we'll see how the, how the numbers do on that fight. But think about it. We're in June. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've had any pay-per-views yet. Every use on its way out. And really think about it. Not that long ago, they were pay per views pretty much at least once a month, sometimes twice a month when it came to boxing. But now, that's not the case. It's rapidly switching over to apps. And for those of you who don't know, these apps are not just for the phone. Now, I don't know about the zone, but. ESPN Plus, I know you can, you know, get on your Fire Stick. You can also get on Roku. So if you have a Roku box, a Roku Stick, or a Roku TV, ESPN Plus is available on that as well. Gaming consoles a lot of times have these apps. Now, I currently have an Xbox One X, and on the ESPN app, currently doesn't have ESPN Plus, but that could change in the future. I think it not going to be that difficult for them just to add that to their app i used to have a playstation 4 but it was collecting dust so i got rid of it but i know playstation uh you know playstation network also has apps like espn wwe network and mma so it's just one of those things that 
times are changing. It's not about pay-per-view anymore. And I think that if Oscar De La Hoya is going to keep pushing the pay-per-view model and he's going to keep putting all his focus on pay-per-view, 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 I don't think that Golden Boy is long for this world. They're already struggling because they only have one star. Everybody else is really not anybody, if you really think about it. Now, they do have a couple prospects, but as for superstars right now, they got Canelo Alvarez, and that's it. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think that pay-per-view is still feasible? Do you think it's still viable? Do you think it could still survive in today's climate? Or are you with me? Do you think that right now the apps are the way? So my subscribers, anybody watching my videos, or if you just so happen to stump on this video, hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace. Undefeated.